Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out how to create a configurable product in Magento 2 with visual swatch options. So basically, a configurable product looks like a single product with drop down list of options for each variation. Each option is actually a separate simple product with a unique SKU which makes it possible to rank the inventory for each product variation. You can also achieve this similar effect by using a simple product with custom options but without the ability to track the inventory for each variation there. So in today's video tutorial, we'll see how we can create a configurable product in Magento 2 with visual swatch options. So for that, uh, let's hop onto the admin backend panel. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial there, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So what I'll be doing is I'll be entering the username, password, and I'll be signing into the admin backend panel thereafter. So let me enter the username, password, and let's hit the enter button thereafter. Now after we have successfully logged into the admin backend panel, what we need to do to create the configurable product, we'll navigate through catalog, products, on the product listing page here on the top right hand corner we have the add product option so from here we'll select a configurable product this would bring up the new product page in a while from now so here is the new product page as you can see and here we'll have the different attributes of the product itself that have been selected within the default attribute set or that we have already selected here so here you can see that we have selected a default attribute set for this uh, particular uh, configurable product that we are going to create so all of the attributes of the product within the default attribute set are visible here as well as you can see all together so after selecting the attribute set we will set the name of the product so let's set it as configurable product with visual swatch configurable with visual swatch uh, let's set the price of the product for now uh, let's uh, set the uh, quantity there's no need to set the quantity right now as we can set it as per our requirement there let's set the weight of the product there let's choose the category here and let's scroll down to the configuration section now in the configuration section we'll tap here on the create configurations to create the uh, what we say as the attributes uh, or the option values that we need to create for the attributes there so if you have already created the attributes under stores attributes products under that section other if you have already created the attributes those attributes will be visible here if they are of the type drop down visual swatch text watch uh, the values required and the scope is set as global then only those would be listed here under this particular section so right now I have not created any one so what I'll do is I'll create the attribute in the runtime here so I'll tap here on the create new attribute this would bring up the new attribute uh, section as you can see here I'll choose for example choose color as the default label that would be visible to the customers so choose color would be the attribute name there i'll choose the input type as visual swatch we can make the values as required as well then we'll come down and we'll go to the manage swatch section values for our attribute so i'll tap here on the add swatch so here what we can do is we can choose a color for the swatch or we can upload a file as well for this example, uh, we'll go with the file. To choose a color, what you can do is you can choose color. Select the particular color. Tap here on this uh, bottom right hand end and the color would be selected. So let me show you once again this one and this. If I want to choose a color, I can go with blue for example. I'll tap here, the blue will be selected. Then we can set up the label name that would be visible to the customers after they have selected the particular swatch at the front end on the product page itself. Uh, so the visual swatch would be of the same color palette that we have selected here like pink and blue. These color swatches would be visible 
on the product page itself for, for example here we are having a simple product with custom options in place of uh, the choose color here would be we'll be having two different boxes two kind of boxes one with the pink color and one with the blue color so let me uh, create this one and then we'll see how the product would be visible at the front end so for now let's do one thing let's upload a file as well so for now uh, we will not be choosing a color and we'll be uploading a file so i'll choose a red and a green color file so let me scroll down i'll choose a red the red color file has been uploaded upload a file now i'll choose a green color the green color file would be uploaded now i can say uh, after the selection of the customer what label should be displayed for the admin it should be displayed as red for the customer it should be red it depends upon your requirement for which store we want to set it up as well or do you want to show it or not i prefer to choose to show it so uh, i'll go with green green and so we have two different colors one is the red color one is the green color there is no need to do the advanced pro attribute properties uh, or the storefront properties here so after we are done with the manage swatch here we are in this watch as uploaded a file you can choose a color as well in a space then i'll tap here on the save attribute button the particular attribute has been saved let's select the attribute let's tap here on the next button thereafter so here are the values red and green for the attribute uh, or that we have created for the visual swatch let's tap on the next button so here we'll go with apply unique images by attribute to each sku so we'll choose our color for red i'll be selecting a particular product image uh, for red i'll select red and for green i'll be selecting a green image for the product after the, the uh, swatch has been tapped by the customer the product image should uh, change there then i'll set the price i'll choose apply unique price by attribute i'll set it as 12 and 12 as the price same goes with the quantity i'll choose the color quantity or uh, color attribute basically and i'll set the uh, unique quantity by attribute to each sku there and then i'll tap here on the next button and we are on the summary page so new product review here are the products you are about to create as you can see uh, one is uh, the visual swatch red and one is the visual swatch green the quantity is 12 and 13 for red and green uh, and the price is 12 and 12 for the red and green there let's tap here on the generate products the visual swatch uh, products have been created for the red and the green colors there now let's tap here on the save button and choose affected attribute set so we can add the configurable attributes that we have just created to the current attribute set that we have selected that was the default one or we can add the configurable attributes to a new attribute set based on the current or we can also add the configurable attributes to an existing attribute set if you want to go with an existing attribute set you can choose that up select that up and tap confirm or if you want to go with a new one you can go ahead and enter the name of the new attribute set so for this one we'll choose it as add configurable attributes to the existing attribute set and we'll tap here on the confirm button now after that the product would get saved and then we'll be able to see the uh, actual visual swatch on the product page so let the product save so the product has been saved as you can see now if i scroll down to the particular section uh, for the section here where we have the create configurations uh, now we have the edit configurations here we have the configurable with visual swatch red configurable with visual swatch product green price quantity weight status the attribute set red and green so from here you'll be able to choose a different product as well you can disable the product or you can remove the product as well now let's go to the front end and let's refresh the uh, watch category there okay i just forgot to add an image for the main product here so let me add that as well uh, let's add this image as the main product image and let's save the product 
So these are the basic configurations that need to be done to create a configurable product with visual swatch there. You can do it with, I've chosen the visual swatch as colors, red and green. You can go with the color as well as size like small, medium, large as per your own requirement there. Let's refresh the page there. So configurable product with the visual swatch is visible here as low as $12. Let's tap on that. So here on the right hand side now you can see that we have the visual swatch here and the file that we had uploaded for the visual swatch is visible as well for the red we have the red color for the green we have the green color image or the image file that we had uploaded for the swatch there. Now if we tap on the red one you can see the red color uh, product image is being displayed if we choose the green one the green color has been displayed and this is the label that we had set up for the particular swatches there when we uploaded the particular files for the different red and the green swatches there itself so yes that was much about the uh, uh, particular video today that was how to create a configurable product in magento 2 with visual swatch options if you have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements regarding the same then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.huidesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.